Hi guys, it's a random math person. Today I'll be going over question 328 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. As you may be able to tell from the title, I'm going to be approaching this differently from what I did the first time because I actually got a lot of people messaging me, emailing me, leaving me comments on this question about how can I do this problem if I didn't realize this was a memory, memory this property. So let's just start, dive right in. So they're saying that the insurance company will cover the amount in excess of a deductible 2000 the probability reimbursement i'm going to denote y as reimbursement and x as the loss so probability the y is less than 6000 given the loss exceeds the deduct deductible is equal to 0.5 so then i we know from the conditional probability formula this is equal to the probability that y is less than 6000 and x is greater than 20,000 divided by the probability that x is greater than 20,000. Okay, that's one extra zero in there. And we know that for y, y is zero if it's less than the deductible, right? Because then the customer is paying everything out of pocket, but everything above zero, everything above the deductible, they're going to be paying the loss minus the deductible, which is 20,000. Or 2000 so this is something to note here so knowing that when they ask you what is the probability that the y is greater than 6000 given that x is greater than 2000 we can actually just substitute this thing in there so we know y is equal to x minus 20,000 I mean 2000 is less than 6000 so we're essentially the intersection of both of these is equal to the probability that x is less than 8,000. 8, so that means if, and it has to be greater than 2,000, so the intersection here is going to be the probability that x is between 2,000 and 8,000. All right, divided by the probability that x is greater than 2,000. And the thing is, we want to put everything in terms of x because we know that the x is a exponential distribution with the mean of, uh, we don't know what that is, but we know that is it. So for exponential function, CDF, right? is equal to 1 minus e to the negative um, x, over a thousand, x over lambda. So using that term, we know that if we want to try to find between 2,000 and 8,000, so between 2,000 and 8,000, then if we use the CDF, it is basically the CDF of 8, right? F of 8,000 minus the F of 2,000 here to get the range that we want, F of 2,000. All right, divided by, if we're looking for um, x is greater than 2,000, that's just basically 1 minus the f of 2,000, right? The um, complement. Cool. And then they keep moving on. If we know that CDF for any function is 1 minus, oh, right here, we wrote it. So by using our CDF formula, this is going to be equal to 1 minus e to the negative 8,000 over lambda minus 1 plus e to the negative 2,000 divided by lambda divided by 1 minus 1 plus, right, two negatives to make a positive, e to the negative 2,000 divided by lambda is equal to 0 0.5. So then simplifying this a little bit, you get e to the negative 2,000 over lambda minus e to the negative 8,000 over lambda is equal to 0.5 e to the negative 2,000 over lambda. So right here, I can actually pause and say set e x equal to e to the negative 2,000 over lambda. All right, shout out to Zach here because I did not think of this by myself. But so then if I substitute that x in there, this is equal to x minus, right, what is this? That's four times this number here. So x to the fourth is equal to 0.5. What is this here? That's just x. So then simplifying this, you get x minus 0.5x minus x fourth is equal to zero. One half x minus x fourth is equal to zero. Factoring the x out, you get one half minus x cubed is equal to zero. So then your two choices are x is equal to zero or um, one half is equal to root cubed. <laughs> Agree? So then plugging that in, when I plug in zero for x here, 
taking a natural log okay so that does not work because natural log of zero just does not exist so let's try the other point in three root two one half is equal to e to the negative two thousand over lambda so then taking natural log here three one half is equal to negative two thousand over lambda bring the lambda to the other side i don't know why i'm writing so crooked but it's okay lambda is equal to negative two thousand divide by natural log of three root one half so then lambda here is equal to eight six five six point one seven okay okay so now, now we can actually figure out what we're looking for so what are we looking for here the probability of reimbursement is greater than three thousand but less than nine thousand give it okay so probability that reimbursement is greater than three thousand but less than nine thousand divided by but given that the probability, given that x is greater than 2,000. Cool. All right, so moving down on, we're just going to start here. <laughs> Do you remember it? Probably that 3,000 y and 9,000 given x is greater than the deductible, which is 12,000. <laughs> oh, gosh, my handwriting is dying. Okay. And as always, we know y is the same thing here, is equal to x minus 2,000. So plugging that in here, x minus 2,000, 9,000. And by the conditional probability formula, we know that this comma, the intersection of those two points, divided by the probability that x is greater than 2,000. So then solving for the top here, 3,000 adding 2,000 on both sides, you get 5,000 x. I'm adding the thing here, 11,000. And the inner x is greater than 2,000. But the thing is, like, if x is between 5,000 and 11,000, that's already bigger than 2,000. So that's kind of redundant here. So we're just going to take that out. <laughs> Divided by the probability that x is greater than 2,000 beautiful and now that's not too bad right we basically did everything already 11,000 minus the f of 5,000 because of the same logic here if we want to find a range between 5,000 and 11,000 take the cdf of 11 and subtract the cdf of 5 and you get what we want which is this here and then this again is 1 minus the cdf of 2,000 and we know what lambda is now so we honestly just it's plug and check from this point here so I'm going to cheat here a little bit. Okay, so basically this is what we're looking for, the lower limit minus the upper limit. All right, all right, cool. So that's e to the negative 5,000 divided by lambda, which is 8656.17 minus the upper limit, e to the negative 11,000 divided by 8656.17 divided by 1 minus f of 2,000, so that's 1 minus minus, so that just becomes positive, e to the negative 2,000 over 8656.17. Let me plug that into my calculator real quick. So this is equal to 0.3535, something, something like that, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!